Meghan Markle's half-brother Thomas faces eviction after racking up an alleged £3,400 in unpaid rent and fees. Thomas Markle Jr.'s unimpressed landlord branded the royal's relative as a freeloader and lodged a pay-or-vacate notice against him in court. As a result, Thomas, 52, and his fiancée, Darlene Blount, 37, have been ordered to leave their rental property, a bungalow in Grants Pass, Oregon, by April 5, according to court papers. Their landlord, Paul Walter, accused Thomas of failing to cover three months' rent and late fees, instead giving empty promises that he would cover the shortfall, he complained to DailyMail.com. He labeled Thomas a freeloader who allegedly either doesn't pay his rent or was always late footing the couple's accommodation bills. The latest revelation is bound to be an embarrassment for the pregnant Duchess of Sussex, after rifts with her dad Thomas SNR and sister Samantha have been in the spotlight. Thomas was a little distraught after he was shunned from his half-sister's wedding to Prince Harry last May right to possession notice Meghan's brother moved into the plain-looking bungalow about a year ago, after leaving a cabin in the woods where he had been living with his fiancée. He'll be on the move again, after his landlord filed the pay-or-vacate notice. Court Settlement Papers lodged with the Circuit Court of the State of Oregon, say that Paul Walter has a right to possession of the premises until April 5, 2019, at 11.59 p.m. If opening bracket the closing bracket defendants do not turn over possession of the premises to opening bracket the closing bracket plaintiffs, opening bracket they closing bracket shall have the right to immediate possession of the premises. No costs or fees are awarded to either party. According to DailyMail.com, Thomas rejected his landlord's rental payment demand, claiming that the notice was served unlawfully, while objecting to being hit with late fees. Responding to the eviction notice, he alleged it was not legal, as an incorrect amount of money opening bracket was closing bracket demanded an opening bracket the closing bracket notice. An aggrieved Thomas also wrote in court documents that he had received a confusing letter about rent for December as he said he had paid rent opening bracket in closing bracket January opening bracket yet closing bracket received 72-hour notice. But the judge suggested both parties work something out, which appears to have occurred as the case never went to trial and they were able to reach a settlement. Thomas had to fork out 64 pounds. $84.50, while his landlord had to pay a similar amount in costs. DailyMail.com said that court documents did not show that either Thomas or Darlene were told to fully recompense their landlord. The Sun Online has approached Kensington Palace for comment. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.